All right, let's transition to the original free kick portion of our show as Land United prepares to visit Montreal tonight in a crucial contest for both teams, but especially for Atlanta. Now, if you look at the past, Atlanta's done very well against Montreal. They hold a 5-1-1 record against Montreal in history. They've won all four of their home contests against Montreal, including earlier this season a 1-0 victory on May 15th with a stoppage time game winner for Marcelino Moreno. So they have done very well against Montreal in their history. But Atlanta has had some struggles over the past few weeks, currently sitting in the bottom half of the Eastern Conference. Montreal actually sits in the seventh and final playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. So this is a contest that Atlanta can directly move up the standings and make their pursuit of the playoffs a more realistic reality. But here is manager Rob Valentino, Atlanta's manager, on Montreal. I mean, every game's important, whether it's Montreal or whether it's another team. They're they're a great team. I mean, they're they're very well coached. You can tell that they've got a way of playing. Um, it's effective. You know, I think that sitting seventh in the table maybe doesn't flatter them. They're, you know, it's a, it's a team I have a lot of respect for. Um, a coach I don't know personally, but you know, you can see by the way they play, and no matter who plays, they they've got a way of playing, and uh, it's something you can respect as a as a soccer person. And here's Anton Wonks on the importance of this Montreal contest. Uh, results are the main thing. I think we'll take a bad performance, but uh, a win. I think that's the main focus. We need to start clinching some of these points back from the teams in the round and especially above us. So, again, it's a very massive game. Every game has been massive, but this one, especially after the frustration of Orlando, I think it's time to definitely put things right. Now, Atlanta does come off of a 3-2 road loss to Orlando City last Friday night. Joseph Martinez scored the fastest goal in MLS history for the Atlanta in, with 47-second goal, tying the club record for first uh, first and go fastest goal in all competitions. Uh, so that was a very good start in, uh, in the contest for Atlanta. S.M. Moreno was able to score a goal as well, uh, but Atlanta did fall 3-2 to two in that contest. Here is Valentina on takeaways from that Orlando contest. Two goals. That's that's really the main thing that we scored two goals, great goals, two individual moments um, that well, no one, none of us will take credit for. It's, it's those individuals that, that that showed their quality, which is great. And uh, you know that's what they're here. That's what they're here for. And I'm I'm happy that they got their goals. You know it was a it's a it's a weird one because the, from the performance standpoint, I think it's not up to what we would have liked, obviously. And 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 still we have a chance to go and win the game. So that, that's. Funny what soccer treats you like that a little bit. And I think that when you have the performances that we had before that, you think we could go and win those games and then you don't. It, I just hope it ends up evening out in the end. And I hope that this is a, over this next game's the, the kickstart of that for us. And as I mentioned earlier, Atlanta currently sits 12th in the Eastern Conference standings with 14 points, eight points out of a playoff spot. Montreal is in seventh place with 22 points. And that is the final place in the playoffs as far as the standings go. So this is a matchup that Atlanta really does need to get a victory if they want to get closer to a postseason appearance. Here is Valentino on that push for the playoffs. No, I, no, I mean, not again, not to be cliche, like we can't. I think that's that would be silly for us to look ahead and we have to look at literally each game that we, that we come across and how we can Again, how, what's our realistic objectives? Where can we get as a group to push ourselves forward so we're in a better spot come those, those times? But it, and, it, and it is. It's taking it day by day, the training by training, or it's a video session, whatever it might be, that we can push ourselves as a group to that next level to have a good performance and then also to then ultimately get results. We can't talk about the performance as much anymore. It's just getting the results and trying to turn things around. And there's Anton Waltz on looking at the big picture in the, of the playoff standings and what it means for the team. We know what the bigger picture is as a collective, and we know step by step it's very important. And you know, these seem like small steps, it's, they seem like you know, games which are, you know, we still got a pretty big fixture list coming up, but we have to start somewhere. And we feel that like Montreal is the place that's going to start now. And Atlanta will benefit from the services of four major players to the squad who have been unavailable due to international duty George Bello, Brad Guzan. And American hero Miles Robinson are back after winning the after they their team won the Concacaf World World Cup. I'm sounding like that reporter in Texas that if you've seen the internet 
post, they had the this team, they had they played the recap of the contest and Miles Robinson with the header and saying that the United States won the World Cup. They did not win the World Cup. It was the Gold Cup. But hey, us Americans can dream. Uh, so I sounded just like that guy and made that mistake. Uh, but anyway, they did. They won the Gold Cup over Mexico a few days ago. And those guys will be back from the United States men's national team. Uh, they'll be with the, with the team in Montreal. Ezekiel Barco, who represented Argentina in the Olympic Games in Tokyo, he is also back with the team as well. So those are, two, those are four starters for Atlanta uh, being back with the team. It's interesting to see who plays and who doesn't. I think there's a good chance Guzan plays because he did not see much activity in the as far as on the field for the United States in the Gold Cup. George Bello and Miles Robinson started the finals, and obviously Miles Robinson scored that big goal. So they're coming back and playing a midweek game on the road against Montreal. That's going to be very tough, I think, physically for them to – they'll be on the bench, and maybe they can give you some minutes off of the bench. But to play a full contest, that's going to be tough. Barco's been back a little bit longer from, from Japan, and all signs are that he's had a good week of practice. He's healthy and should be available. So I assume we'll see him in the starting lineup, but he'll be available off the bench as well. We'll see how, how Valentino candles this, having those four guys – one in Barco traveling a very long way from Japan to the United States, and then three guys who recently were with the team, with their national team, playing in competition. So we'll see how all of that goes as far as Atlanta preparing for tonight's contest against Montreal. 